Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here. Um, this subject is of a, um, a gated farm and uh, just coming through the, uh, the, the gate area. Uh, so just another idea of how to set off your um, military vehicle that you've just spent weeks and weeks uh, sticking together and painting. Um, just uh, set it into uh, a bit of a scene like this. <clears throat> just makes it uh, a, li a little more interesting, I think. And it's just uh, a mudded field, if you like. A mudded field with the grass on the side and a very simple wall with a couple of gates at the back. So let's get into how I went about making it. So I've cut a piece of two millimeter thick cardboard. Uh, if you can't buy two millimeter thick, then uh, any kind of cardboard packaging, if you glue the pieces together, three pieces will normally make up two millimeters thick. Uh, and I've made it big enough so that my tank, my Sherman tank will pass through it if necessary. Uh, so the sizes that I've made it is, well, <laughs> I can't see, 8 inches or 204 millimetres. Is that right? Yes. And by 4.5 inches or 140 millimetres. Uh, so I've cut the arch out, the middle there. And to make the thickness of the wall, I've got a piece of polystyrene uh, just half inch thick and I'll stick that on there with hot melt glue that will stick on there I'll have to stick it really to do the next process so with a, um, a hot wire cutter uh, I can follow the cardboard and cut out that shape into the uh, polystyrene <clears throat> and that will give me my front of my gate Okay, so on the sides then, there will be a piece like that, just set back a bit. So again, just a piece of cardboard and then stuck onto polystyrene. So that will be to, to that side of the gate. And then a thin bit that side. And then <clears throat> a longer piece of wall along there, but that will be cut, uh, uh, bl blown away, if you like. Um, yeah, so that will be like that. So that can sit at right angles like so. OK, uh, but the idea then if I, well, I don't need to stick it actually. So with my hot milk glue gun, <laughs> I mean my hot wire cutter, I can follow the cardboard and cut that out. So that's going to be my broken wall to the side there. So a, a very simple um, construction really. Uh, if I can put it together, I don't know if I can. That there that there and that there that will be basically the shape of it um, there'll be a farmyard kind of entrance into the into it and then uh, some big uh, barn doors uh, in the front there so it will be uh, yeah okay that, that will be the uh, premise then of the diorama so I'll stick this on here and cut this out uh, and then I can um, decide then what how to do the uh, the wall, uh, a render or bricks or stones or whatever. So um, I'll do a bit more. Come back and show you. There we go. So I stuck my bits of cardboard on my uh, bits of <laughs> polystyrene, and uh, then cut cut this out. So it's a nice, nice uh, smooth cut all the way around 
and stuck them all together and the coping stones on top uh, the uh, off cut of polystyrene I took out the middle um, I cut them to a width just slightly wider than the uh, polystyrene and cardboard there <coughs> uh, then just cut a chamfer of two sides like that and then just round it off with a bit of sandpaper and make, make as good a coping stone as you could want so I've cut them to one inch lengths and put them all along the top there so we've got coping stones on the top of the wall and then I just stuck everything together uh, so the finish um, what I would normally do is give it a coat of watered down wall filler and then a coat of <laughs> uh, tile grout over the top, two coats. But I got to thinking, <laughs> why not just mix the whole lot up in one go? Uh, so I put red tile grout in with my watered down wall filler, mixed that up. It was it was a bit red, so I, I darkened it with a bit of black paint. Um, it still needs darkening, uh, but it was it was as thick a consistency that I could make a, um, a, a rough render. That's the words I'm looking for. So it's a rough render now on uh, all the surfaces. But I, I will have to give it. Um, quite dark black washes over the top uh, to darken it down a bit uh, and then grey grout to go over the uh, coping stones so basically that's the building very very easy very straightforward to do um, I'll make the doors I'll cut those up uh, show you those and then just stick it on a base and that will be Bob's your uncle all finished so okay I'll do a bit more I'll come back and we'll see what it looks like then. So I put some uh, a black wash onto the um, render as it were. Um, that darkened it down a bit quite nicely and then when it was uh, really dry then I just went over with some sandpaper to pick out the highlights of the rough render. You remember it wasn't a very smooth finish I just put it on very very roughly uh, so uh, just picking out the highlights then uh, it looks a, a reasonable looking finish now quite pleased with it and then just sprinkled a few pieces of broken tile grout red tile grout to uh, to show the broken wall there and a couple of doors so the the polystyrene that I cut out for the uh, for the back the backing of the wall are used for the coping stones and then for the uh, cardboard that I cut out there uh, just cut in half and that makes the two gates and then to make them look a bit more gatey um, uh, three eighths of an inch wide gaps or however wide you want them really and then cut a groove uh, cut a 45 degree cut that way turn round cut that way and you can cut those grooves out to show the, the difference in uh, how the, the timbers are making up the gate. Then um, put that onto another piece of card and draw around and then make a, 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 a six mil or a quarter of an inch border around and then cut the inside out and then that becomes the <laughs> that it becomes that. Uh, to the outside of the gate there on the uh, yeah so you see what I mean that that's all one piece on the outside there so just cut around the inside there a quarter of an inch in and that will give you that shape then with some other quarter of an inch pieces just to make up the slats that make up the gate are you with me so these are to be painted yet but they will sit like that and then we've got the tank just coming out of the farm through the gates 
and then all I have to do is put a muddy field or muddy uh, terrain down here. So I'll go away, paint my gates and put my muddy field down and a little bit of grass and what have you and that'll be it. That's one of the fastest dioramas I think I've made for a long time. Uh, so anyway, I'll go ahead, finish it off and uh, we'll be back to see the results. So I finished the project off, uh, painted my barn doors and just uh, stuck them on the side of the arch there with the hot melt glue. So they're in position there. And for the base, I mi mud, <laughs> just mud. I mix some garden soil with a lot of PVA glue. Um, if you mix that up with water and uh, spread that all around the diorama, it's absolutely rock hard and uh, you can't get anything that looks more like mud than mud. <laughs> That's what I think anyway. Uh, and then I just sprinkled some green stuff I got from the model shop to make it look a bit grassy on the side. And, and that's it. So very, very simple to do. Just a bit of cardboard and a bit of polystyrene and, and a bit of mud. And then you can place your military model in there. And I think that sets it off rather well. I think that's a, a pretty good idea for a, a diorama. Okay, I'll leave it with you. Maybe you can uh, improve or um, change the uh, ideas around a bit, but basically that's uh, that's all there is to it. <laughs> uh, if you've enjoyed the video, as usual, please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, click the like button, comment below if you like. What's that? Cobweb. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, please subscribe and um, you will be informed when wonderful new videos like this come along. Uh, so thanks again for watching um, and I'll see you in the next video. So uh, bye for now and happy modelling. <laughs>